When despite all the advances in medical science, all that's left is hope. And millions are waiting every day for that crucial discovery that might make the difference. The difference between a normal life and agony. Our academic partnership started around the beginning of the 20th century, when Roche was approached by one of Switzerland's most renowned academic scientists, Dr. Max Cloetta, about our special extraction process. This initial collaboration resulted in one of the pharmaceutical breakthroughs of that time, the heart medication Dicalin. Over the past 100 years, collaborations have taken on a variety of forms, giving rise to a multitude of different projects, often including the establishment of doctoral and postdoctoral positions. Despite an ever-changing world and industry, our strong dedication to academic partnership remains, resulting in thousands of collaborations with selected research partners, including top universities like MIT, Harvard, the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology and the Australian National University in Canberra, where Dr. Bertram is working on a cure for septic shock. Chris Goodnow was the Chief Scientific Officer of the Australian Phenomics Facility and it was his vision that really led to the building of this unique facility in Australia. The partnership at Genentech combines their expertise in understanding how sepsis works with the expertise here at the Australian Phenomics Facility. So the ultimate goal of this program is to use the discoveries that we've found and develop inhibitors to these components of sepsis. Even if one of these inhibitors only helps a proportion of patients with sepsis, this will have huge ramifications for human health. At the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich, Professor Virosh is working on a device for the early detection of diseases. So about five years ago, Christoph Fottinger approached me with a beautiful new idea. This idea is to use molecules to create holography. And because of this, now we are in a situation to solve so far unsolvable problems in diagnostics. We are able to put the molecules that recognize a specific marker that is important for the detection of a disease on a tiny chip. But of course, it is not easy to put molecules where we want. This is why this partnership between a pharmaceutical company, a diagnostic company and ETH was necessary to realize this goal. And now we have a chip in our hands that one day might be able to diagnose cancer at an early phase, even in patients' homes in a mobile phone compatible format. With the results of many successful academic collaborations of the past available today and new forms of partnerships between academic research institutions and Roche, there is hope for patients to get the cure they need as we work together to turn basic research into the tests and medicines of tomorrow. <laughs>